What up, I'm Relentless MC, and this is going to be a real quick Rogue's Den minigame guide. First of all, you can't be wearing anything, and you can't have anything in your inventory, so make sure you have an empty inventory and nothing worn. And second of all, to start this minigame, you will have, have to at least have spoken to Brian or Richard at least once, so speak to him, pick the first option, skip through the dialogue, and say, okay, sounds good. Um... Another thing to note, you're going to want to be running for this, and you're going to want your all the runner energy you can have. So it might be advisable to uh, drink a stamina dose before you start this. Uh, next thing you need to know is you can run through up to three traps while running. You can run over three traps without setting any of them off, but anything over three, you're going to set one off. So the technique here is to stop before each set of traps and then run past three and never do more than three and if you do that you're basically good to go so what i do as you can see here i run through three i walk a space and i run through three and that's basically all you need to know to get through this this is the route that i'm going to be taking here you can see there's four traps so i'm going to right click i'm going to search the first one and then the next three i can run right past then coming up to the next one i'm going to run right before it now i have three spaces i can skip easy just like that. And that's basically going to be the Rogue's Den in a nutshell. Um, you can take whatever route you want. This is the route that I prefer. This is how I did it on my main. And so I'm going to do it on my skiller. Um, it's a pretty easy route. I mean, and it's pretty quick. It takes a couple of minutes to get through um, one full run. It's not too bad. Um, you'll have to click the first tile here on these saw blades to get past them. This is just an agility gap, so you just click the first. Here there's four traps, so I'm going to just search the first one. And then I'll be able to run past the next three. And that's basically like the Rogue's Den in a nutshell. As long as you follow that, the, that set of rules, you'll never run over more than three traps at a time. You'll, you'll be fine, perfectly fine. This area is a little bit tricky. Uh, it's hard to tell what's what. So what I do is I just come here, walk past that, take a step, walk past that, walk past that, walk past that. I'm not 100% sure on the fastest way to get through that, so I just take that one with caution. But aside from that, you know, the rest is pretty much standard routine standard procedure you don't want to run through that um little turbine or whatever you want to call it the little spinning blade you don't want to run through that so i try to run past it first and then come to this wall there's four obstacles here so i'm going to search the first one and then i can run past all three here i'm just going to click the first saw blade and then i'm just going to run through everything else I'm going to pick up this tile in the corner and then click on the door and click the tile. Easy. Here's just a, it's the same pattern every time. I just have it memorized. So I'm going to go ahead and come this way like so. My camera is facing south, by the way. And as long as you do as I do, you'll get through this no problem. Um, you'll, you'll know if you messed up because you won't be able to open the doors. Only certain ones will open. So, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Here, there's only three obstacles, so I'll stop once, like, right before them, run past all three. Easy peasy. Here is three obstacles, obstacles again, so I'm going to do the same. Just run through three. Stop right before them. Run through three. Real easy. Pretty much a walk in the park, as long as you follow that rule set. Stop before the obstacle, run past it. Here. We've got a bunch of obstacles with spaces, so remember I can run past three, and then I'll stop, run past three, easy. Same thing here, I can run past three, so I'll go there, stop, 
go there. That's literally all you have to do to get through this. And this spot right here, you're going to have to throw flash powder at a guard. So you're going to want to make sure you have at least like 10% run energy to get past the guard. So if you don't, stop and let your run recover. And then use the flash powder on the guard and run past him. And you're at the end. And just like that, you've done one successful run. Um, the safe is random. Uh, it doesn't matter where you click. There's, there's no like, you know, right tile or like wrong safe to crack. You can just click any of these up here. Um, sometimes you will get unlucky and uh, and you'll fail. That's just the way of the road, basically. Um, also, sometimes you'll get unlucky and you'll get a rogues kit, which is virtually worthless. Um, what you're looking for is the rogues crate, which you'll use to get a piece of the outfit. And that's basically it. Um, if you follow those steps, if you do it how I did it, you can do that. Uh, as many times as you need to for a uh, for a full s outfit, and you're good to go. I'll show a couple of runs here at like double speed or something, just to show me going through it. It's the same thing over and over again, though. Basically, if you understood what I did on the first run, and you just copy that, you'll be fine. You'll be successful, and you'll have the outfit in no time. So, good luck. Peace. Lied on the stand, Bible in hand, cry when I feel like the rest of y'all dead meat. Oh man, I can die on command if I wanna, but I won't. Cause I'm gonna be a float, keep a million on it, all bets on, let's go. Keep it on to the breakdown, on to the breakthrough, so on and so so. So it goes, no one knows dick except we all alone, and that's too shout. So it goes, never so sick, so so so. I just hope, hope, last, paid up, gain up. Either way, you locked up, opened up. Either way, you toss back cup or a bit of cleaner vision, whether high road or low road. Either way, you, yeah, we can live like thieves. We can live like kings, they can be the same thing. Yeah, they're exactly the same thing. Either way, you, we can work till our hands don't work till our back don't work till our head don't hurt because we paid up. Or we can sit back, yeah. This was for Andre to ran, a symbol of actual action, adventure, a quality man. Appallingly talented, fearless, and yeah, probably as careless as every last one of my very best friends. And gone way too soon. Risk that fear that whatever you choose, do you? Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, we can live like kings. Yeah, we can live like thieves, we can live like kings, they can be the same thing, they are, either way you, either way you die, either way you, either way you die.